Today you will learn what is the government and what does it do. This is so important because the government makes a lot of big decisions that impact us every day. So we're going to start to understand the government by starting with the story of how the government of our country began. A long time ago, settlers came across the ocean in wooden ships from England and landed in America. So here's England and they headed west to America. When they landed in America, they took land from the Native Americans and they set up their own country. Now, in their old country, England, the king would make decisions to protect people. He would make decisions like what would be against the law. Decisions like what would we do to people who broke the law? He was the one who had the power to make those decisions. Now, in America, who was going to have the power to make decisions and laws to protect people? Well, in order to protect people and make those decisions, the people who settled in America decided to create a government. The government is a group of people that have the power to make decisions. They decide what is against the law and what is the punishment for breaking the law. Fill this in on your worksheet. Now we have two different types of governments, two different ways that groups of people can make decisions. We have an unlimited government, fill this in on your chart, where people do not have control over the government. Now an example of an unlimited government is the King of England. Now he's the king just because of who his parents were and what family he's in. He's not really the king because he was chosen by the people. And because he's the king, he gets to do whatever he wants. There's no laws that he has to obey. That's an unlimited government. He has no limits on his power. Now we also have a limited government. Fill in this part of your chart. In a limited government, the people have control over the government. An example of a limited government is the United States with the president. Now the president has the power to make decisions, but his power is limited. If people don't like his decisions, then they can vote for somebody else and he won't be the president anymore. If he breaks the law, then he could actually go to jail. So there's limits on his power. These are two types of governments, limited or unlimited government where the leader can do whatever they want or limited government where the leader has to obey laws and the people have some control over them. Now we learned about our types of governments and what the government is. Now, what does the government do? Now we said that the government makes decisions and protects people. Let's be a little more specific. The government's main purpose is to protect the rights of its citizens. Fill in the blanks on your worksheet. Now, if the main purpose is to protect the rights of its citizens, what are rights and what are citizens? Rights are freedoms, what you are free to do. Citizens are the people who are members of a community or of a country or community. So their rights are protected by the government. So let's go back and try and make some sense of this. The government's main purpose is to protect the rights of its citizens. It's protecting the freedoms of all the members who live there. So sometimes if people visit a country, then they're not protected by that country as much. The country is in charge of protecting the people who live in its country. All right. Now, how does the government protect its citizens, its members? Well, you have a chart on your worksheet with some gaps on it. Go ahead and take this time to fill in those gaps on your worksheet. The top row shows what does the government do. Our bottom row shows how do they do it. Let's start with our first column, keep order. That means protect people. It means keep things safe. It means make sure that people are obeying the law. How do they do it? Well, they do it by providing police and military and firefighters. These people protect us from crime. They protect us from fires and natural disasters. Now, what else does the government do to protect people? Well, the government also provides services. 
providing services means that they have mailmen who can deliver mail. They have these police officers and these army soldiers and the firefighters who go out on the street to protect people every day. Now, how do they pay for that? Pay for these people to work. How do they do it? Well, they collect taxes, fines, and fees. Taxes are a little piece of the money that you make every year. You have to give that to the government so it can provide you with its services. And fines are what you have to pay when you break the law. And that money you have to pay to the government so that it can pay the police officers who make sure that our streets are safe. Now, there's one more way that the government protects citizens. Let's go over to this column in our worksheet. Manages conflict. That means that people will have arguments and the government helps decide how to solve those. To do that, the government provides courts. So people can say, look, we have an argument. We're going to go in a court to decide who's right. It also provides judges, people who can help decide who is guilty and what the punishments are for breaking the law. So these are all the ways that the government protects its citizens. And these are how they provide those protections. Now, when we look at our review and some examples of what the government does, let's look at our list on our worksheet. The government provides services to help people meet their basic needs, including but not limited to, so let's look at what the government does, clean water, the government provides that, public schools, so people can get an education, the government does that, food and rent assistance, the government helps people who sometimes don't have a job and need extra food or need extra help paying the rent so they have a place to live and a job. Wait a minute. That last one's not right. The government actually doesn't provide everyone with a job. X that one off of the list. The government can provide help when people don't have a job, but it's up to each individual to get their own job. So tomorrow we're going to talk about the rights and responsibilities of the different citizens. But for now, you have some practice over the government, what it is, what it does. And if you finish that, you can get an early start on your homework.